Hi, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to create a dot plot. Dot plots are a useful way to organize data, especially for small data sets, um, and it can help you to see the overall trends. A dot plot does preserve the original data values, and since it does that, it is not practical for large data sets. So if you have a large data set, it is not practical to create um, a dot plot so, because a dot plot puts a dot for every single data point over a number line. Okay, so when you're creating these, it is important that you first start by looking at your data set that you have. Okay, and we're going to create a dot plot for the given data set. This happens to be number of text messages sent per day for a random sample. Okay, this one happens to have 20 data points in it, so this would be a smaller data set. Um, this is also not advisable to use if you have a really large range of values. So if you have a range of like 500,000 points, you're not going to want to create a dot plot because you do have to create something on your line for everything. Okay, so a couple things that we need to do is the first thing we need to do is go through and find our minimum point or we can just look at our data and see that um, our lowest value is going to be 63. That would be our minimum. And then we would find our maximum point, which happens to be 90. So when we're creating a scale for this, we want to make sure that it goes from 60 to 90. So I put enough tick marks here. I'm going to let this represent 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. Okay. Um, and then I would put at the bottom that this is a number of text messages. sent in a day. So it's important to include a label. So this would be your label. This would be your scale. Okay. And then I'm just going to go through and put four little tick marks equally spaced in between to represent the values in between. So this would be 66, 67, 68, 69. So instead of having to write down every single number from 60 to 90, uh, you can just break it up using a scale factor and then put little tick marks in between to represent every single data point. So this is why you would not use this for a really large range or a large data set because it can take a lot of time. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to go through starting here and we're going to go and we're going to find 66 and then I'm just going to put a dot above it. And I'm just going to go down each of these columns. So my next one would be 72. So I would go to 72 and put a dot. And then we're going to go to our next column. So we would go to 68. So 68 would be here. 74. Going to the next one we have 80. 67. be right here. 82 and notice there are two 82 so we would have to stack them on top of each other so anytime that you have repeating values you do stack them. Okay 85, 80, we would go to 90, 72, 63, 73, okay, and so I'm now on this column, 75, 74, 80, we now have a third one for 80, we'd have 68, 82, and then 68 again. So you can see um, that the best thing about this is it will help you to identify your modes. So for this one, we can see that 68, 80, and 82 all occur three times each. So those would be our mode or our values that occur the most often. Um, for this one, it doesn't really have a general trend. It's kind of just all over the place. Uh, we could say the middle values fall somewhere in between um, 70 and 85 or 82. So the majority, there's no outliers. There's nothing that falls really far away from the data set. It's kind of close together. Um, 90 is the most. You can find your minimum and your maximum. 
Uh, so hopefully you now understand how to create a dot plot. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.